Previously on Prayer of the Faithless, we got a brief explanation about how the world is consumed by miasma, and unlike Sword of Paladin, the situation seems completely hopeless. Then we got to control error in a nightmare world that also serves as a game's tutorial. Alright, I'm stuck in the woods with no items. I probably want to avoid as many enemies as I can, right? A solid kingdom of iron. Oh wait, no, we're in civilization already. Okay, good. Um, seems this is a dead end. Shoot, I thought there would be something hidden there. Hmm. Why is my FPS so low? I don't have G-Sync on, do I? Hmm? Is that Paladin Amali? What's she doing here? Do you understand me? I shall let you off this time, but if I catch you trying that again, there will be consequences. So, are we done? Why, are you in a hurry? Not especially. Yes, you may go. It would seem that even the rank of Paladin is not enough to earn respect from the other citizens. Or even unruly knights in training. Huh, how are you? You're not as sneaky as you think you are, Ayer. At least not for me. Well, he caught me. I ditched my training yet again. Guess I gotta serve some time in the old slammer, huh? Since I haven't learned my lesson yet after all this time, maybe I need a longer sentencing. I'm thinking maybe a week or a month, or a week or two. Hey, maybe even a month. How's that sound? Sounds like you are being unusually cooperative, almost as if being in jail would be a benefit to you in some way. Perhaps there is something you're going on today that you are trying to avoid. Ugh. I've been leaning towards your punishments in the past because I understand that your situation is different from the other knights in training. However, today is the one day that such leniency cannot be tolerated. These spindly veil attempts to get out of the proving stop now, understand? What the heck is the proving? Does he have to take a test? Does he have to fight enemies without using any med kits? Fine, since you asked so nicely. So what was all that just now? Oh, that servant stuck out of the castle and stole a small cake from the bakery. I was just reprimanding her. A, a paladin like yourself doesn't have anything better to do? Normal castle activities have been put on hold to repair for the proving. If I had a squad of soldiers to command like the Arab paladins here, then I would be focused on preparing them. I'd offer to help the Arab paladins, but they all said a mana like myself would not understand the intricacies of preparing for such a trial. Nice to see I don't have to worry about your fan club overtaking mine anytime soon. Anyway, I was going to get some rest before the proving begins. I suggest you complete your own preparations. Yeah, that's why I came back in. Guess I'll see you when it's time to throw down. Oh yes, I forgot. I saw Mia heading south from the castle into the common district. I think she was looking for you. You should go talk to her. After all, you might not get another chance. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm guessing that after approving, you'll be sent straight to the front lines. You'll head to the execution ground soon. Com Commandant Vanessa has given me the task of monitoring the proving. I haven't had any problems to deal with today, and I don't plan on starting now, understand? Okay, you can stop staring at me now. I'm not going to do anything. Today, at least. You will. What you gonna do? Kick me out of the night? Good luck with that. I've been trying to do that ever since I got drafted. Unfortunately for both of us, I haven't managed to piss off the Commandant that much yet. Oof, I suppose being drafted is the only way to keep a punk like you in line. Yeah, you got a point, but you know what? The Knights wanted me. They just tolerate you. Huh, I can practically see the steam coming out of his ears. Is that an item shop? The FPS is a little better in here because the map is smaller, I guess. My big brother was visiting the Eastern Empire of Virgil when the fog grew large enough to cover the Lacretian Valley. Now I don't know if I'll ever see him again. After the prince was murdered eight years ago, His Highness withdrew into the castle. I think I can count on one hand the number of times he's made a public appearance since then. The prince was murdered. That must have been Ayr's father who did the deed, right? Nowadays, Commandant Vanessa's the, the one calling all the shots. She might as well take the throne at this point. I believe we can get through this disaster. We just have to have faith that His Highness and Commandant Vanessa will find a way to dis dissipate the fog. The shopkeeper has a strange fascination with Paladin Amelie. I can't say I understand. That dark skin and pointy ears of hers really creep me out. Oh well, just so long as he remembers he has a wife who loves him, he can do whatever he likes. Hello there, I always appreciate a nice business. Ugh. I am p too poor for this. Apparently these manuals will teach me more skills. 
farm low. It's a passive skill, I guess. Hmm, yeah, not gonna have enough resources. Have you talked about Pal Paladin Amelie? She tends to keep her to herself a lot for some reason. Of course, I find it as odd as the next person that Amana is in the Knights, but the Commandant herself picked her. And who, I am, who am I to judge the Commandant's decision? I don't know, my wife tells me I'm too sensitive, but part of me thinks Amelie could use a kind gesture or something. She always looks so lonely. Sometimes I wonder if I should have chosen to become an infused. Sure, it would be scary to have a magical relic and plant in my body, but then I join the other infused in an effort to solve the problem of the fog. As I am now, the only thing I can do is fight my asthma monsters and protect the people. I suppose that's a good enough calling. You know, I've seen a surprising amount of knights come to the blacksmith and the cobbler here. Don't they have very equipment to play them in the castle? I'm still wrapping my head around the idea behind Kiyoma here. A small flame like this being enough to keep all the monsters at bay is pretty impressive, if not difficult to believe. You can look at the Kiyoma, but don't try to get near it or we'll have a problem. And by we, I mean you. Yeah, you'll get used to it. It's a nice, comfortable feeling, made more so by the fact that it burns away all the miasma in the town. Just don't let it distract you from your job. If the flame were to ever go out, then the monsters will emerge from the ground in the blink of an eye. I've just been assigned to guard the Kiyoma, and you know something interesting? This thing doesn't give off heat the way a normal fire does. Instead of feeling like I'm next to a flame, it feels like there's something hot inside me. Hey, do you know that Commandant Vanessa used to be a real brute? It's true. I remember way back when she first came here with Paladin Fane. She used to pick fights with people who so much as looked at her funny. She calmed down quite a bit after Paladin Wilder's execution and Paladin Amelie's admission to the knights. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Wilder? Uh-oh. I've got naturally quick reflexes, so I prefer the lighter armor created by the blacksmith here over the heavy plate armor I issued by the knights. Choosing equipment to augment your battle style is way more important than simply getting higher parameters. Knights, well I'm no weaponsmith, but I got some other things here you might be interested in. Hard lever and plain boots. Prevent bleed. Ugh, I really need some of these. By the way, you're that guy who's always hanging around Mia, right? Have you ever seen her have you seen her lately? I have her order finally completed, so please send her my way to pick it up. Is that gonna be part of the resolve point mechanic? I don't know. I wonder how aware people actually are that the fog is getting closer and closer with each passing day. Well the, the raid's going, it's not like it'll overtake us tomorrow or even a year from now. Still though, it's coming closer and there's nothing we can do about it. I honestly wonder what Mia sees in you, Air. The two of you are polar opposites, after all. Mia's kind, compassionate, delicate, and you're... No, go on, finish your sentence. What exactly am I? I value my health a little too much to oblige you. I just don't get it, man. Why does Mia keep hanging around with Air? Surely she knows what kind of reckless bastard he is. I uh, do, standing right next to you. Uh, I know you... I know you are. Stop being weird. Anyway, I wonder if this means Mia's actually into the bad boy type. It always turns out to be the shy ones that have those kinds of interests. What's this about Mia? Yeah, hey, or how long have you been standing there? Hey man, why didn't you say anything? Aha, I finally found you. Now I'll make you pay. Whoa, take it easy on the anger, man. What's got you all riled up? Up there, you little brat. Don't act like you don't know what that is. Graffiti? How do you even get up there? Oh dear, oh me, oh my, such a, a, a some little rapscallion has committed the heinous crime of artistic expression. Oh woe is us, what are we to do, my good man? Don't play dumb with me, you're the only one who would smear Commandant Vanessa's good image like this. I don't know about her good image, have you seen the painting? She's got a bit of a snake tongue going on there. How, how do you even get up there? We don't even have any ladders that reach that high. Oh really? Well, it sounds like you don't have a case against me, so I'll see you around. Come back here, you! Just you wait, you little punk. One of us will catch you in the act one day. In times like these, all I can really do is watch the trees. They're a helpful reminder that there's more to life than death and destruction. I feel my proving too, but I hate being stuck in the city when I could be out there actually helping people. I'll play again when I've trained harder. I lost my proving and was delegated to a common grunt. Now I'm stuck guarding the entrance to the castle while the knights do the important work outside the city. Hey, it could be worse. I could have failed in the final round and died. When I think of it that way, grunt work ain't so bad. Die? You mean... People will actually die in the proving? I don't know about if I can deal with that. 
Also, which... Am I supposed to go north or south? I don't want to accidentally lock myself in the story before I do everything. I need to talk to Mia. I think Paladin Amelie said she was at the south end of town. Okay, can't even enter the castle now. Hmm? Hmm. Boo! Ah! Aerie, what's wrong with you? Ah, gotcha. Looks like I'm up one. Really, Aerie, really? You're playing the stupid game now of all times? Sorry, sorry. It's just, you paint such a big target on your back like that. I just can't help myself. It's like a reflex or something. Jeez, Aerie, I can't believe you sometimes. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean to yell like that. Please forgive me. Come on, don't apologize to them. If anything, they should be thankful for the show you just put on. Jeez, well, I'm glad one of us is in high spirits. I can't believe I was even slightly worried about you. When you skipped morning drills, I thought that maybe you had... Oh, I get it. You finally ditched a solid to get, just to get out of the proving. I set up camp just outside the castle walls. I had planned to come back right when the drills were over, but I... I fell asleep by accident. Must have stayed up too late last night. Since ditching drills would have meant some jail time as punishment, I find at least I tried one last effort to bypass my proving, or at least delay it until the next batch of recruits come in. But of course, of all people to catch me in the act, it was Paul, Paladin Amelie, the only other person in the solo who doesn't want my head on a pike, and she saw right through my act. Still though, you shouldn't have been kept in the dark about the plan. I didn't mean to make you worry about me like that. My bad. I guess all we can do now is hope, but if worst comes to worst, and we get matched to the yard in approving, then maybe it's best if I... Not happening. I don't care what anyone says. If you and I are matched together during the proving, I'm tossing my sword and telling them all to kiss my ass. The idea of the proving being an elimination tournament is already some elitist garbage, but for the fi final round to be like it is, a death match? Was that really okay? If I were banished from Asala, I'd have my grandmother back in my home village to return to, but if you were banished... This again? Do you forget uh, Do you forget why you joined the Knights in the first place? I thought you wanted to earn enough money to get a house here for your grandmother. It's been eight years since my dad was hung for treason. Ever since then, every single person in this damn place has been looking for an excuse to get rid of me. Unlike you, I've got no one to look after. You've got way more to lose than I do getting kicked out of Asala. If we get matched in approving, I'm leaving and you're staying. End of discussion, you understand? Yes, Ayer, I, under I understand. Good, now then, I think we've stalled long enough. Wanna head up to the palace? Sure, let's walk there together. Skit points? Huh? You see sparkles on the ground, examine it to trigger sh a short skit. Okay, skits offer a chance for a party to relax and discuss topics ranging from battle tips to elaborating on previously discussed topics in inane chats. You might just uncover a new side of a person they may not reveal otherwise, so chat away. I understand the reasoning behind Paladin Amelie's well, status as a Paladin. It's a pre ironclad rule that Mana are not allowed in the military, yet Commandant Vanessa handpicked Amelie herself. On top of that, isn't the Commandant on record for her hatred of the Mana? Yet if she makes a public appearance, Paladin Amelie is almost always certain to be right by her side. Can you believe that rotten uh, uh, Gale? She had the gall to start spreading those nasty rumors about me. I mean, here I am just trying to make an honest living as a castle gardener, and she just she, she goes around starting to make these disgusting rumors about me just because the king liked my design instead of hers. Hold the S key. Huh? Hold the S key! What? And then go. Uh, wait, this S is a skip key, isn't it? And then Gaul was like, Jenny, what kind of seeds are you planting? And I was ha standing there with a full bag of seeds and couldn't do anything while she dumped red paint all over my flowers. And that's not all, though. This other time, she deliberately planted weeds in my garden and laughed as I tried to get them out. I mean, seriously, who actually goes out of their way to plant weeds in a garden? That's just a, that's about as stupid as you can possibly get. Holy crap. It's the most... Uh, 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 she's the most paid person on the planet. Whoever raised her must be some sort of awful strew to think about trying to make a girl into some stupid nitpicky brat spending more time stamping on the successes of others. Rather than trying to do something good in the world by herself. I mean, gosh. I don't think I've ever met a more snide, conniving, ruthless jerk of a woman in my entire life. There are far too. What kind of man must he be if he was part of a household that raised such an awful woman? I can't believe anyone would do such a stupid thing. By the way, am I annoying you my story? I'm sorry. I just wanted to rant a bit, little bit. You know how it is. Sometimes the day can just be so long and annoying that eventually a person's gotta just vent. I'm sure you know what that's like since you us all knights have to work so hard to keep the peace of the city and this side of the deep fog, and that's why I'm so... I'm so grateful that you're standing there and listening to me. Oh, don't worry, I won't make you take a quiz or anything to prove you were listening to me. After all, you've just been standing there for so long just staring right at me, so there's no way you would have done anything else, right? I know, you're such a good person listening to me. I'm not sure what happened. Even before the fog walked the route, his largest stopped coming. I hope he's okay. 
I'm so sorry to hear about your brother. Asala and Virgil aren't exactly hostile to each other, so I don't doubt he's being taken care of. We're getting a surprising amount of supplies from Han and LF, and all things considered, I thought they would want to keep all their food and equipment to themselves. It looks like our nice dispatch there are doing a great job of maintaining order. It was about this time seven years ago that Paladin Fane Wilder assassinated the Prince of Asala, right? Man, I still have a hard time believing it. it goes to show you that people who always hide a side of themselves you never expect. Paladin Wilder has always been a gentle, even-tempered soul. Same with Vanessa, too. I used to think she was just a thug when she joined the Knights. Now I think she's the only one keeping the city together. What if Vanessa framed him or something? Oh, okay, my lock's broken again. I'll have to visit the blacksmith soon. Yeah, what if Vanessa framed him in order to gain power? Hmm, I can, we can heal here for free? The inn doesn't get much business nowadays. With the fog on the rise, only a few people from the village of Han Aleph travel far enough to make it here. The children may not remember, but there was a time when you could just look up at the s and see the bare sky. It was blue and cheerful, and the sun cast a warm ray on your face. Now all you can see is the fog. The sky and the sun may as well not even exist. That woman sitting by the table keeps talking about this thing called a sky. Can't say I've ever seen one of those before, but it sure sounds nice. It's awful to think that a few steps outside of Asala takes you out of the range of Kyo the Kioma. Without my asthma burning powers, you'll get overrun by monsters in no time. Oh, a skit! This is where we met, wasn't it? Yeah, now that you mention it, this was where I first saw you. If I remember right, you were being harassed by some of the other recruits, weren't you? None of the other recruits liked me very much. They all said I was too meek and didn't have what it took to be a knight. Really? I had no idea. You were one of them, you know. Oh, I was? I mean, you weren't nearly as bad as the others, but I distinctly remember you telling me many times to give it up. And as we trained together, you kept saying I didn't have it in me to be a knight. Well, I mean, when I first met you all those years ago, you looked like the kind of person who would cry if you stepped on a beetle. I couldn't imagine you actually being able to fight for a living. I suppose you're right. Still, part of me got so angry at you and everyone else out, and maybe wanted to train harder, just to prove you wrong. You? Angry? Well, that's not something I've ever seen before. Heh, <laughs> that's because I don't yell or lash out when I get angry like you. Hey! Though I guess I should have seen it coming. After all, no matter what I said, you kept pulling me, uh, me away during uh, t downtime to spar again and again. You were determined, I'll give you that. And look how you turned out. You've gotten so strong that you could beat the snot out of any of the recruits that challenged you. What? You really think so? Yep, in fact, I'd like to see you fight those guys that have been giving you grief during training. It'd be funny to see you shove it right in their faces how much stronger you've gotten. Did Mia beat Air off screen in a duel? Air, stop it. Don't make me out to be some sort of street thug. Oh, there's another skit. That's, that was fast. Seriously, though, I'm honestly starting to wonder if there might be something wrong with Mia. Yeah, I know what you mean. The way she and Air are always together is almost unsettling. I just hope Air isn't holding anything over Mia, you know? He's totally the type to do something like that. What Mia is actually twisted, as quite twisted and crooked as Air? Maybe she's just better at hiding it than he is. I mean, who in their right mind would actually be friends with the son of a traitor like Paladin Wilder? I'm gonna smack him. Let me smack him. Wait, don't do anything rash, Air! But they they're saying all the screw-up things about you. I can't j just let them spread lies like that. It's okay, really. I don't mind what they think of me. They just don't know you like I do. If they got to know the real you, I'm sure they would like you just as much as I do. I mean, as friends, I wasn't trying to s say anything other than that, really, huh? Hey, just what were you, were you implying? All the same, I'm sorry these rumors are spreading to you too. It, j it just annoys me so much. They can say whatever they want about me. I've heard it all before. When they start badmouthing you, I just want to knock their lights out. Air, you know how much I hate when you talk like that. J please don't just accept the negativity towards you so casually. Here, what's wrong? Mia's cool and all, but back to release my place. That's where I want to be when I want to be alone. Nothing, I just went the wrong way, sorry. But why- your place seems to have the only safe point in the entire town, which is very inconvenient. Hey, don't say mean things about Air. He's a good person, honest. That- that- hmm. That- the dialogue changed a bit now that Mia's in the party. That sounded really desperate. Huh, he's still saying the same thing. What the heck? It's okay, Air. I don't mind what people think. Okay, she's so, so it did change this time. I probably should have waited for Mia to be in the party before talking to this guy. I bet she would have had something to say about the graffiti. 
I have no idea what this test will do. I don't, I don't have a way to save anymore because the game blocked me out of the save point for some reason. Ever since my proving, I felt a certain liberation when fighting foes. It's difficult to explain properly, but after my first kill, I no longer experienced any hes hesitation when swinging my axe. I guess this is why Commandant Vanessa enacted the proving. She's been proved more than any of us, and I think I understand her a little more now. Sure doesn't make the proving any less revolting, though. Even now, my mind sometimes wanders back to the day I took my first life. You have to kill your fellow recruits. That's messed up. Where are you? Ayer Wilder, yes? Have you come to confess? Nope, got nothing to confess. Where are you? Sorry, but you can't go into the throne room. Ever since the prince's assassination, we can't take any chances of laying anyone in to see the king if they don't have a reason. Hold on. The, the castle looks just like the dream world. Honestly, I have no interest in participating in the proving. I want to help defend this kingdom, but not at the cost of taking another person's life. I heard a commandant enacted the system around the time she took office eight years ago. I just don't get how she was able to convince his, his highness that this was a good idea. I can't answer that. I'm just as confused and scared about killing another person as you. Have you taken a closer look at the knights? After approving, I noticed something. Well, different about them. I can't explain it very well, but there's a certain haste in their eyes. To be honest, it makes me a little scared. I'm just happy that they're on their side. I can't imagine how an enemy must feel if someone with those eyes came at them with killing intent. Where are you staring at? My fiancé was one of the victims of your father's treachery. Not a single day goes by where I don't curse everyone who bears the wilder name. Mark my words, traitor respond. If the Commandant even suspects you of applying against the throne, I'll be the first one in line to gut you. The list of all the knights handpicked by Commandant Vanessa to achieve the prestigious rank of Paladin. Jacob Vance Amelie Fletcher. There's a name barely visible underneath the numerous scratches and an obvious attempt at removal. Wilder. Hmm. Which way leads to the story? I remember this way leading to all the dorm rooms, but there's no safe point for me to experiment with. Didn't you say one of these was your room? No, I just don't get why uh, Paladin Amelie wasn't allowed into the knights. As a paladin, she should have a squad of knights to command, yet she has none. Her armor's different too. Paladin armor is gray and white, but hers is red and, uh, has a red and white color scheme. Did Commandant Vanessa think it, it, it was some kind of joke? If you want to survive out on the field, you best listen to what these veterans have to say about combat. So this is a tutorial room? But sir, I'm only good with a sword. Being alone is no excuse. What if you're facing an opponent resistant to slash damage? If you have no companions to rely on, you need to be able to inflict all three physical damage types. Always carry multiple weapon types to match any situation. During battles, changing weapons might just give you the edge you need to overcome an enemy. Does changing weapons use up a turn, though? That's a big question. Excellent, your knife throwing skills are as solid as ever. Not only do attack items like throwing knives ignore damage reduction from enemy stamina, but they cost no stamina of your own to use. Huh. First, let's focus on our training. Damage during battle isn't that difficult to figure out. All it takes is a glance at their power stat to learn how much damage you will do. As for how to counter it, that's rather dependent against it. Keep your armor and psych as high as you can to block the different damage types. Keep an eye out for what kind of damage enemies are inflicting so you can plan for countermeasures. Yes sir, I'll make sure to strike a balance between reducing enemy stamina and dealing damage. No, no, don't just reduce your enemy's and opponent's stamina. You'll, to, you'll, you'll make them focus and restore it, undoing all the work you've done getting it down. Careful management of stamina is how you will control the flow of battle. Don't ever forget that. So don't deplete it all the way unless I'm ready to finish them off then. Just keep it sort of low so I can just whack them with normal attacks. Look at you, all weak and out of breath. I could take you out in an instant like this. Always, always manage your stamina properly. While armor and psych lower your physical and magical damage, your stamina has the potential to reduce damage from both in an even greater capacity. While proper use of stamina could mean you would not need armor. You could go into battle naked if you had to. Not that you should, not that you should do that anyway. Yes, sir, I won't let my stamina run out. He may not speak your language, but he doesn't seem too bad. Still, though, I wish I knew what he was thinking. He doesn't smell, frown, or laugh. It's pretty creepy. You need items? Alright, here's what I got. Hmm, I can't afford anything. Wait, you think we just hand up items? Nope. You want stuff, you gotta earn the money by doing stuff around here. Is there a side quest I can do to earn money? The mon is too busy sweeping the floor to pay you any mind. Vanessa's office.
Yeah, maybe depleting stamina all the way was a bad idea during that first boss fight. At best, it'll, fo it'll force them to use up a turn. No, it could be good for forcing them to use up a turn so you can u get some briefing room, but that's about it. Hey, is that Dark Lion's Roar you have in your hand? I, ha I love that book. I think I can still see the indent on the spine from when Paladin Amelie threw at you. I suddenly got a sharp pain in my nose. Why did she have to do that? Well, you were sleeping in the middle of one of her lectures, so you deserved it. But it was so boring. Why bother learning about Hellspawn when we know what they're, uh, uh, know that they're not around anymore? Not around? Air, do you sleep through most of the, the most important part of the lecture? Hellspawn are said to be immortal. They don't just go away. Um, really? There hasn't been a, a Hellspawn sighting in years. That's why people believe them to be extinct. However, if they are tru truly are immortal, then they're still outside, waiting for someone to come across them. But then how do we kill them? We don't. Standard procedure for dealing with Hellspawn is to drive them away from populated areas. Though that's only if we come across them outside of town. They may be immortal, but they are miasma monsters, so the Kiyoma drives them away. Though ideally, we wouldn't have to deal with them at all. These are just precautions that we have to learn. The mono over there is kind of creeping you out. Uh, I mean, she just stands there, not saying a word. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, I know Mana don't know her language, but come on, they can try to learn it. I mean, Paladin Amelie did, so why can't she? That's horrifying. I heard that revenants are mindless monsters that drain the life away from li any living creature. Normal humans wouldn't be able to stand a chance against them. Why is there a knowledge test in order to be even begin training in the night? I want to help by slaying monsters, not by reading books. Hey, have you heard of the last prophecy? Fear the revenant, the vanguard of ruin. I heard this prophecy was uttered by an oracle about a year ago, 16 years after oracles fell silent. Pretty scary, huh? Could Air have something to do with that prophecy since he might be infected by a demon? Have you heard the Assault and Precept? The mine is the weapon, the blade is the tool. We need to educate ourselves in both combat tactics and enemy info, otherwise we will never survive. The infused are in here researching the fog and are not to be disturbed. You can't come in. I have to say, being an infused must be hell. Not only does it mean you have a magical relic planted inside of your body, you can't go anywhere outside the castle of a knight to accompany you. But they willingly chose this path, so I guess they can't complain too much about it. Still, it must be pretty brutal. Why did they sign me to clean the bookshelves? I'm the short shortest one here. They should have gotten a mana to do it. Huh, racist, what are you talking about? Look at them. Mana are freaking tall. I mean, the shortest one I've ever I've seen stands heads and shoulders above me. Still goes up. I agree with the professor. A ceiling of the purgatory, the oracles losing their powers of prophecy, and the emergence of the fog all took place at the same time 16 years ago. Too many events at once to be a mere coincidence. Well, just because I passed my proving doesn't mean I'm done learning. Here's what I don't get. Purgatory didn't just seal itself, right? Someone had to go in there and stop it. Yet the knights combed the area afterwards and found no one. Did they escape us somehow? The fog is everywhere. That much, this much is certain. Well, anywhere that isn't protected by one of the Kioma, that's how we stay safe. But a little to the east of our kingdom, there's a massive cloud of condensed fog called the Deep Fog. No one has ever entered a Deep Fog and come back alive. If the Kioma from the settlements covered by the Deep Fog is enough to keep them alive, we'll never know. We can only hope that they're alive in there. There hasn't been a single prophecy for 16 years. Then one oracle suddenly invokes what we call the last prophecy. Fear the Revenant, the Vanguard of Ruin. Times can't really get much darker than this, can they? I've heard the oracle who gave the last prophecy was branded a heretic and was put to death. I wish I could say I don't, didn't understand why. Anyone who would be scared if someone predicted the actual end of the world. Still though, the oracle who didn't lose their powers when the fog appeared would, was put to death. I'm sure humanity could have used some of that magic right about now, you know? Unfortunately, the reality is that we can't approach Purgatory anymore. It's well within the deep fog now, and no one has ever come back from it there alive. Whatever mysteries Purgatory holds will remain undiscovered. Yeah, let's... let's go. I think I'm... All, I done all I could. Mia has left the party. You don't look nervous at all. Yeah, I'm ready to go. No matter what the outcome, I know what I want to do. How about you? I just want this day to be over. Everyone, the time has come. Before we begin, Commandant Vanessa would like to have a word with you all. Commandant, if you would, pl if you would, please. I have never been one for free speeches. Broad claims of peace and prosperity in response to concrete threats is a sure sign of weak-willed idealists. 
It's precisely this reason I was given the, the position of commandant by the King of Asala himself, when I brought in the monstrous Thane Wilder and hung him myself in this very hall. Hmm. There have been whispers and rumors flowing throughout the Kingdom of the Fog's constant growth. Th that there is nothing we can do to stop it. I will speak plainly, they are all true. It has been 14 years since the Fog first emerged from the Northern Kingdom of Overturia. In all that time, it has not shown even the slightest signs of fading away. In fact, it seems to only get worse. Not only has it expanded enough to consume the kingdom, but from it has formed a myriad of monsters, each one more fearsome than the last. Even the mana as human as they appear to be, were still born from the same fog as those bloodthirsty monsters. As things stand, it is all but inevitable that the fog will consume both Asala and her kingdoms and her neighbors in the Eastern Empire of Virgio, and the monsters within will show no mercy to any living creature. Looking at these facts, people of lesser minds would believe that the end of the world is inevitable, that there is nothing we can do to save ourselves. But you are not here to be of lesser minds, are you? You are all here today because you aim to do something greater, something they c that can defy this supposed end of the world. The mind is the weapon, the blade is the tool. That is the assault and precept that has been ingrained into every single citizen. As assault and knights, you aim to be shining, uh, the shining example of that saying. Today you will put your training to this final test. If you can survive this trial, you will be found worthy of carrying on the battle. If there's anyone here who does not believe they can see this trial through the end, believe now while you can and so, you, while you can still call yourself an assault. But understand this. Those whose bravery and determination are limited to mere boasting have no place in this kingdom. Very well then, from this moment onwards, all doors to the safety are shut. There is no turning back. The first matches have already been decided. When I call your name, you are to approach the execution site. Air Wilder and Butch Beringer. Looks like I'm first. Good luck, Air. It's do or die time. That's all there is to it. I suppose I can try rejoining the knights again if I lose Iroh of the first two rounds, but the last one. Why is the last one a death match? That seems stupid. You're killing off your best soldiers. I've trained hard for this day. I won't lose. Oh man, I'm so scared. What if I can't do it? What if I lose? I guess it's to teach them to, to remove the unbroken passive, but still. Still, I hope you're ready. Butch. Hey, sure have rotten luck going up against me in the first round. You said it. I was hoping I could get matched with someone who could provide me a decent warm-up. The hell do you say? If you two are ready, then be good. Joy, because he's alone. Okay. It's better to not completely drain this SP, otherwise he'll refill it. He can focus too, huh? Wait, do I recover hit points between battles? And he still goes all the way... Uh, uh, he still refills his focus even when he's merely low. Even though I misplayed, I still made it, huh? But you have lost and cannot join the ranks of the knights. You shall remain as a soldier staying within the city. Okay, but do I heal between battles? Because I cannot possibly do this with one life bar. So far, so good. How are you doing, Mia? It was tough, but I'll pull through somehow. Next round of the proving will begin. The first match will be... Air Wilder and Cirilla Frood. Okay, I can do this. I did heal. Okay, good. I, it would, if I didn't, I would be so mad. Hill, Air. Ah, oh, now you're ready to talk. Of course, it's only polite to introduce yourself to your opponents. I see. Always prim and proper. Unfortunately, being prim and proper won't get you very far in battle. Especially not to such an uncouth individual such as yourself. Oh, m my poor. Oh, my poor, poor feelings. If you two are ready, then begin. Okay. Wind break. Normal attack. Focus. A counter stance? I'm not hit. I'm not touching that. Can I still destroy your focus? 
Okay, that was a bad idea. Shit. She doesn't have the counter stance anymore, though. I'm seriously gonna lose. Damn it. I don't know how the counter stance works. I didn't know it was gonna go directly for that attack. Damn it. Well, I still won, anyways. Okay. Got a little stronger. So really, you have lost and cannot join the ranks of the knights. You shall remain as a soldier staying within the city. Two down, one to go. The big one. So it begins the final round of proving. As you all know, in this round, you are to fight to the death. You'll, your will to survive will now be put to the ultimate test. The first match will be... Air Wilder and Mia Alacruz. So much for optimism. Guess it's time for me to... No, I can't do it. Mia, this is a proving. You knew it could end up like this. Mia, don't. No, I can't fight Air. I just... I just can't. How, how'd you break out? I thought you said you locked down the place. If your shit was not ready after all. Air, remain here. I'll inform the commandant of the situation. Didn't you say you locked down the room to prevent anyone from backing out at the last minute? This seems like a plot hole. Unless she just used her brute strength to break the door. Mia, stop! That wasn't the way I had planned it. I wasn't planning on shouting and running off like that. I just I just want to be a bit more mature about leaving. When the announcement was made, I just panicked. You planned this from the beginning, didn't you? I thought we saw this already. I'm sorry, Arab, but I just couldn't let them throw you out of a solo when you had nowhere to go. Idiot. Maybe, but you were about to do the same thing for me, so I guess you're an idiot too. Hey, I guess so. It's amazing we can't even function. It's gonna suck without you around. It'll be okay. You have food and shelter to keep you safe, even from the fog. Just tone down the troublemaking and I'm sure you'll be just fine. Besides, it's not like this is goodbye or anything. I'm sure your duties of the night will take you to Honolulu every now and then. If that happens, you'll be sure to look uh, me up, okay? Like you even need to ask. Well, I should probably get going. Take care of yourself, okay? I will. Goodbye, air. I guess it was too much to ask for you to wait in the execution grounds. The best thing that ever happened to this place was just walked out forever. I hope you all realize that. Because of your dumb fell to the death policy. Follow me then. I will take you to the throne room where you'll be knighted. Seriously? You can't, can't, is it, are you really allowed to win by default in this situation? I thought they'd just find a, a different opponent for you to fight to the death. Allow me to introduce the first five recruits who have passed approving. Thank you, Paladin. The newest members of the Asalan Knights, you have risen above the ranks of your peers and now carry the weight of the world in your shoulders. The fog is coming. There's nothing we can do to stop it. However, with your aid, we can endure it. Continue your training and protect the people. Eventually, a time will come when the, this, this fog will be but with a, a distant memory. Until that time comes, lay down your body, mind, and heart for the greater good of our kingdom. Your valiant efforts will ensure we realize the future without this dreadful fog. That is all. You may go. And what about the people who didn't make it this far? Have got anything to say about them? Ayer, where are you? You're just going to give a half assed speech and wave us off like we're some kind of annoyance? What kind of crap is that? Ayer, this is the king of our country you're addressing. Show some respect. Respect? Mia threw everything away to keep someone like me in this death cult you all call a kingdom. And I'm supposed to show respect to some deflating gas bag that won't even acknowledge people like her? I'm out. Being in this place is making me sick. Wherever the fuck this is to, to, to the place it swallows, you all deserve worse. Yeah, I didn't see him being the type of person to stay in the night. Oh, there you are. Helen Amali, how did you find me? Earlier when I was talking to that servant, I saw you coming from behind the castle. I just looked around and saw the path leading here. So this is where you always run off to during your training. I like this place. It's peaceful here. Quiet, unlike the castle in the town. It's all yours. I'm not sticking around this place for much longer. And where do you plan to go? Honolith? Do you expect Mia to keep you safe there after your little episode in the throne room? Comment on Vanessa has declared your words to be the king is treasonous and has put out a word for your arrest. Arrest? Seriously? I thought, ex I thought he'd simply be exiled. Every paladin in the cell is trying to find you now. This time, however, your punishment will not be imprisonment. 
For such treasonous statements, you're, you're sentenced to hanging. Damn. I guess you're going to bring me in, huh? You're trying to stall for time while the rest of the knights surround this area. No, I've told no one your current location. Not even Vanessa. I've come here in good faith because I want to wish to speak with you. I understand you are angry, but I must ask that you please calm down and hear me out. I understand. Get the hell out, uh, uh, get out of here with that crap. You may be a mana, but you're still a paladin. And Vanessa's close buddy. Don't act like you understand anything about me. Do you remember the conversation you overheard be before between myself and that servant? In the eight years since Vanessa first brought me here, this is how I was treated, like an outsider, someone with no place in the Sala. For the vast majority of Asalans, I imagine it would be no small relief if I were to leave and never return. Truth be told, the thought has crossed my mind more than once. And yet, here I remain. Do you know why? Because I do not fight for the people of Asala. They care nothing for me, so I have no love to spare them. Instead, I fight because Asala, as ho full of horrible people as it is, has some still has someone in it that makes life here worthwhile. To you, she is a cruel, horrible commandant. To me, she is a dear friend who I rely on for support when the trials of Asalan life proved overwhelming. If someone were to have heard, I would have no reason to remain in Asala. The people here would rather lose themselves to the fog than try to reach out to me, and so I say, leave them to their fate. It may not be the most noble of ideals, but noble ideals require incredible patience. Patience that, frankly, neither of us have. Well, maybe you do get it after all. Mia's home village of Hanalef is closer to the fog than Asala. It's only natural that Hanalef will be claimed first. When that happens, she will have nowhere to go but back here. I understand that you are currently wanted for treason, but I believe I can convince C Commandant Vanessa to drop the charges against you and allow you to remain in the night. I will ask again, will you hear me out? Afterwards, if you still wish to leave, then there will be a small window of time while I report this location for you to make your escape. Alright, I'm listening, but no promises. Had you not said what you said to the King of Asala, you would not. Uh, you, you have been assigned to a small squad of pal uh, knights under the command of a paladin and perform the remainder of your service with them. My proposition is simple, you will do exactly that. However, the paladin you will be assigned to will be me. Seriously, that's your plan? Just do the same thing that would have been done normally? At face value, you might be correct. As I have mentioned before, unlike the other paladins here, I do not have a squad that has a command. Every task that command Vanessa assigns to me, I must complete alone. In truth, my title of paladin is merely a pretense. As I typically operate alone, I carry out tasks that would be too cumbersome for a larger squad, such as intel gathering and scouting missions. Should you accept my offer, I will take you under my command and assume all responsibility for your actions. In return, you will assist me with these tasks. As we both have a common, shall we say, disposition toward the, the, the people of Asala, I believe this arrangement will suit you quite nicely. What do you say? You really think this is going to work? You do realize I'm going to be swinging from a noose if this goes south, right? If you decide to come along with me, I will fight relentlessly to keep the noose away from your neck, regardless of coming out Vanessa's decision. Of that, you have my word. Fighting for a few people in Asala, not for Asala itself. Gotta admit, that's the last thing I expected to hear from a paladin. But you've got me interested. Count me in. Wonderful. Now let's return to Asala Palace. I just hope you don't expect me to start calling you ma'am. Not at all. If anything, I would prefer you drop the paladin from my title. Uh, from my name. I would like to work together as your partner, not your paladin. I'd like to see you already. Amelie has joined the party. Level 16. I, you know, for someone who's three times my level, I thought you'd have three times the hit points. Just how slow is hit point growth in this game? Weary soul. Increases SP cost of all actions. Why are some of these passives just plain penalties? 10% crit bonus. She cannot use Amana's innate abilities. 75% resist to stagger. Magic piercing light. Remove miasma charge. Guardian. Restores SP equivalent to half of Amelie's lost SP. So it works the lower SP I have. And also it works on all, all allies to help maintain uh, my resources. Calming Aura. I have to pick self and a target, okay? Provoke. Drive. Power Gouger, Skill Gouger. Hmm.
Okay, this might dialogue might change. No? Huh. You! Please wait, Commandant. Huh? I sincerely apologize on behalf of my subordinate. He does did not know what he was saying. Where are you playing at? Just as it sounds, Air has survived the proving. Therefore, as a pawn of the Asala Knights, I will place him under my command and assume full responsibility for his actions. He's there to defend one who speaks ill of the king. This is the final straw, Amali. An example must be made of him for the great good of Asala. Perhaps, but this is Air we're talking about. How many times has he spoken out against authority, against you and even me? I really think a few contrarian remarks against anyone, even the king, or anything noteworthy coming from his mouth. Ouch. As a paladin responsible for his behavior, I ask that he, pl you please overlook this one act of indiscretion. If that's not enough, I shall take whatever punishment you deem fit. Why are you going all this way for air? Wait, what? Why would... Air, I'm trying to save your life here. I would appreciate it if you would allow me to continue. Be quiet. Do you realize that if you were anyone else, you would have hung alongside him for trying to do what you're doing? Yes, Commandant. I still expect a severe punishment for failing to control him. You yeah, have got to be the most annoying thing in my life right now. It seems like this I wonder what possessed me to promote you to a paladin. I believe your words at my induction were, even a mono like yourself can prove useful on occasion. Air Wilder, step forward. If you put even one foot out of line again, no one will be able to save you. Do you understand? Yeah. Air, the Commandant has chosen to spare your life. The least you can do is show gratitude. I understand, Commandant. Thank you for your mercy. It's most that is sufficient. This is going to take some explanation. I doubt His Highness will simply not accept that one, the one who defamed him will still serve in the Knights. Do you have a plan to convince him? Do I look like a damn politician to you? I didn't think justifying treason would be on my test list today. I'll have to figure something out. In the meantime, it would be best if neither you nor Air were in the solid in case he tries to issue a royal decree above my ability to stop. Now is the good time as any to issue you an assignment that has been on my desk, desk for some time. I understand. What would you like us to do? And please give us some money to, so we can upgrade our gear. I've been on getting reports of strange activity in the nearby village of Hanala. Based on the descriptions, I believe a large deposit of Terra Luminite may have been discovered. However, the locals are keeping silent about it. Terra what now? Terra Luminate is the material that makes up the composition of a magical relic. Think of it as a container of energy. However, it excretes an extremely toxic aura in an unprocessed form. The citizens of Hanalef come in contact with this material as it is now. There will be trouble, and that's why you must make your way to Hanalef as soon as possible to confirm if these rumors are true. I don't want vague rumors. Give me cold hard facts. Understood? Yes, Kamanat. Hanalef, huh? That's where Mia lives. That boy is more trouble than he's worth. For your sake, I hope you know what you're doing. Well, that was close. Yeah, it looks, if looks could kill, I'd be swinging already. Still, though, you took a huge risk just to keep a troublemaker like me around. I'll, I promise I won't forget this. Think nothing of it. From this moment on, we are partners. I'm sure you'll have many chances to repay me. 
Well, then, before we set out, we should probably stock up on supplies for the road ahead. We can purchase gear from the Quartermaster on the power wing to the east. I have some equipment and funds of my own that I will share with you. Okay. Finally, we have supplies. But I don't know what to buy. Only 350 marks is barely anything. Weiler, what are you doing here? I thought there was an order for your arrest. The situ situation has changed. Commandant Vanessa has given me her approval to work uh, under me from now on. That's so. Well, if you're lying, you're both gonna hang. No skin off my back. In that case, I guess you'll be needing equipment. Yep, what do you have for me? Well, normally we'll have free reign on whatever we like. However, we're pretty sharp right now, so I narrowed down to a few starter packs. You can eventually get whatever you want, but it's gonna cost you. Wow, seriously? You want knights to be as prepared as possible for whatever fights they lie ahead, but not until they, they buy gear from the people who they're working for. Hey, you're not the only one to distribute supplies to. Besides, you know the precept. The mine is the weapon, the blade is the tool. Any knight worth their salt won't need an entire army to get a job done. I guess so. Well, then first things first, that training blade of yours isn't going to help you out there in the real world. It's time for you upgrade your weapon. What would you like, a knight sword or a knight axe? Shit. Well, I, um, Amelie seems to use a sword, so I think I should get an axe. That way, we have multiple weapons available. Knight axe? The knight axe trades any symbols of defense or raw power. Even basic swings with this baby can do some serious damage. Problem is, it's hard to swing around. It won't always land a clean hit. I'd pick this thing only if you're confident in your own skill in battle. Rather primitive and restrictive compared to Knight's Sword, but it's designed for one job, damage. In that job, the Soldier Axe excels. Uh... Can I find a sword on the road? I... Uh, preferably having both would give me lots of options, because I want to have multiple damage types. Okay. Alright, next you need to choose the armor which you want. Gorilla or infantry? Infantry. The infantry gives you medium armor, which more protection. Okay. Light armor. Stamina boost. Hmm. What if I just go? F uh, let's. Uh, okay, let's just. Uh, uh, the axe is already less defensive, so let's go with the infantry one for safety. I'll take it. All right, here you go. If you want anything else? I've got to sell it to you. All right, Air. Now that you have your equipment, go ahead and uh, purchase whatever items you deem necessary. Huh, me? I'm interested in seeing what sort of gear you consider to be the most important. This is a quick rundown. Healing items like first aid kits are the only way for us to restore health. If we run out of those, we'll be in, then we'll be in real danger. However, attack items such as the throwing knife can inflict damage without being reduced by the target's stamina. Keep enough of those on hand to inflict quick and heavy damage. Hmm. I need an adrenaline... Oh, I, I, it's so expensive! Hmm... Strike damage... Well then, if we have the supplies we need, let's make our way to Hanalef. I can't fight the other weapons! By the way, you're the guy who's always hanging around me lately. Have you seen her lately? I've, I've her order completed, so please send her my way to pick it up. Shh, I can't even do that kind of quest. Oh shoot! No, I should have talked to him as Mia uh, before uh, before the cutoff point. Damn it! Let me. I, I may want to make a save. Hello, Mark. I screw up in the video game again, so I'm gonna need you to do your thing real quick. Thanks. Okay, reload with Mia in the party. Let's see if I'll get my item. Oh, Mia, I'm glad you stopped by. Hey, Greg, did you finish my order? Yeah, I did. Here you go. Thanks. Hard lever. Huh. Shoot, that would have helped, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo, like, most of this section. Uh, 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 pretty much all, that entire section of gameplay, aren't I? And maybe this time I'll pick the sword instead of the axe, just because I can probably afford the axe later. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, this time I went for Gorilla Armor and Knight Armor. And a uh, Hard Lever. I think this will be the... I think Hard Lever will make up for the fact that I'm using... Uh, 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 the slightly weaker Gorilla Armor. And Knight Sword should be pretty well balanced, apparently. Yes, yeah, has a fair amount of skill to it. And it's really not that much weaker than... Uh, than the axe, so it should be fine. I can probably find an axe later on. 
I just hope I don't. I'm not. I didn't screw over Mia by taking the by giving Air the hard lever armor. Hopefully, if she, if Mia does join the party later, I can still give her some hand-me-down armors. Hmm. Wait, why is your power so low? It's not. It's weaker than this dude who's like one for your level. What? But she has a lot of skill, and armor, and psyche. Hmm. I see, it actually has more tribes on it too. So that means I get more abilities. But it costs so much SP to do anything. So maybe it's a good thing I went with the Gorilla Armor. Yes, I think I think this is the best balance I can hope for right now. Oh, Paladin Amelie. Yes, what can I do for you? I, uh... Do you want something for my store? Pardon? I don't know, I just... Wait, I just... You've been eyeing those guidebooks for a while now. I was wondering if you wanted one. I could... Well, I... Just take one, it's on me. Guidebook? In that case... Uh, how about Medic Manual? I think we need some healing power. Here you go. Thank you for the kindness, sir. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. Oh no, that's fine. I'm just glad to help, that's all. You're a good man. There should be more people like you in this world. But we can buy the Air Manual if we want to. How do these work? Do they have to be consumed? Oh, I'm so awkward. Huh, did you say something? It's something I can equip, so... Hmm... I could give you Medic Manual so that you can increase healing by restorative items. Hmm... But I want to get the fencing one someday as well, but I don't know how to farm money in this game. I don't know if enemies respawn continuously. I'm sure I could use the end to try to grind and save on resources, but there's still no guarantee I'll be able to get everything I need. What happens if I leave town? Is there anything else I need to do? Are there encounters outside? Are there rem encounters or just touch encounters? I don't understand how this works. What is this thing? Is that, like, a mailbox? A tent? Okay, I guess the encounters are only inside the dungeons themselves, so it'd be kind of weird to have normal enemies running around outside too, huh? Dang, I wanted to grind some weaker enemies to get used to the battle system. I'm guessing I have to go for the forest for the next part. Hopefully I pick the right choices in terms of supplies. I don't want to spend everything at once, though. Hmm. Really wish I had... I could get the axe as well. I want to have a variety in case the enemies are weak to one thing but not the other. Also, I don't think there's a way to save on the world map, unfortunately. So I have to run back to the tent or the castle to save. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Prayer of the Faithless. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.